hey it's me al and welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'm giving you a view of my garden that i have out in front of my house and i'm just kind of showing you guys some of the things that i have going on so for the most part in the front i have some tomatoes and then i have a lot of herbs growing and then i have a sugar baby watermelon in the back as well as um some pickling cucumbers now if you saw previously my pickling cucumbers took a beating from the sun as well as my zucchini and squash i had planted and my green beans so um i have to decide what i'm going to be doing with that but as for the as as far as the cucumbers go i'm going to get rid of all of those dead leaves and see if i can salvage as much of this plant as possible all right guys so stay tuned all right so if you guys saw my outdoor living space collaboration then you'll see how we washed off the front porch well we're doing the same thing to the siding i just had to make sure that i got a longer nozzle because the hose is actually on the other side of the house all right so hubby has done a great job at cleaning that side of the house that was the only side that needed to be cleaned and now i am giving my plants some much needed water because it has been like 85 90 degrees uh, for like the last three or four weeks so i'm just giving them some water letting them replenish themselves and hopefully bring this um cucumber plant back to life i did go ahead and take off a lot of the dead branches i do need to do that again but for the most part, I think that everything is still going fine so far. All right, guys so i am just going to give you a really quick overview of what my garden is looking like at this point some of it is doing good and some of it is not doing so good because we've had like 90 degree weather for like the last three weeks so but i'm going to show you anyway what survived and what didn't survive and what's not growing now this is my sugar baby watermelon plant um, it's growing. It does not have any watermelons on it as of yet. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. I spoke too soon. Look, y'all. Look at that. Look at that little baby right there. Y'all see that little baby? Look at that little baby right there. Oh, so I do got some coming up. So it's one right there. And I'm not going to go through this whole bush to check it out the last time i checked it wasn't none growing but i'm so glad that that is growing i'm excited oh is that another one? Oh, look y'all look at the baby so i got two sugar metal two sugar melon two sugar baby watermelon um plants growing right now I did get some of the weeds out of here earlier and this plant right here is my uh, lavender and I think might be wildflower or 
um, something else, but it, the, the lavender is doing great. I don't know what's going on with that other stuff, but it's not doing too well. Um, all my mom's little plants here seem to be doing fine. Um, I can't remember the stuff that she planted, but this is what it's looking like. This is my, uh, what did you call it? Um, pickling cucumbers. Now, this bush was so alive, y'all, and I already got two cucumbers from this already, but I had to pick off all the dead stuff that died from the heat, and I still have some more to go, but I'm hoping that these in here will survive. So, I got one here. No, I got a couple in there, actually. I got one regrowing right here. One going right here. I hope it makes it. Um, one down here. It don't look like it's going to make it. But as um, soon as it cools off out here, I got one growing down in here coming back up. So as soon as it cools down or tomorrow when I get off work, I'm going to come out here and pick off all the rest of these dead leaves so <clears throat> that my plant can flourish again. Because when your flowers start to die like this, especially due to the heat, you have to get rid of the dead stuff so that the plant doesn't focus on what's dying and it focuses on <clears throat> what's surviving and that's um, that helps the plant continue to grow. Um, this is, I think, I have no idea what's in this pot. This is Mysterium and Marigold. Don't have not a leaf on here, but I got a whole lot of tree. So the gar gardening, oh my God, gardening, is, is, it can be relaxing and, and a pleasure and it can also be quite the headache at times. This is my tomato plant. One of them died, so I took it out. Um, I was hoping this one would do good, but it's giving me one tomato at a time. I don't know if I'm going to get any more for the growing season. Maybe, maybe not. Um, if that's okay, because I still have two more here. I can't remember the name of this one, but I also have uh, another plant growing over here. You can't see it because this squash has completely taken over, but it is the Mr. Stripey heirloom tomatoes. So I'm hoping that those will uh, come up. I don't see any flowers on it yet. This is the zucchini or is it squash I think it's squash that I put in the ground and the flowers are just taking over completely so I'm going to go ahead and cut those back so it doesn't interfere with the growing of this tomato plant right here um I have I don't know if I have any female flowers on here yet because they're not open up I do see a uh, one growing I don't know if y'all can see that down in there but right there right there i got one growing and i think it's one growing down in there but um that's what's going on as far as that concern <clears throat> excuse me as far as that is concerned my bad and then i got this monster right here this is my blueberry no raspberry bush and it is just growing bushes that's it i have no fruit just bushes so maybe next year i'll get fruit last year i got no leaves this year I got all leaves and hopefully next year I'll get some fruit. So I'm going to cut this back because right now it's just out of control and without any fruit growing on it, it just look crazy. So I'm going to cut it back and hopefully that will give me some fruit. If not, I will just have to wait till next year because um, these do come back every year. So that's the good thing about that. And like I said, I'm going to cut back some of these zucchini leaves especially the ones that are getting the powdery mildew on them i'm going to cut that back also and let me show you guys my proudest 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 moment though but i'm so glad my little sugar babies are growing but let me show you guys the thing i am the most proud of okay so if you guys watch my short video i did like maybe a week week and a half ago i showed you guys my orange jello uh watermelons that were growing well, look at the progress now, y'all. I got a watermelon growing right here. I got one growing right there. I got one growing 
right here. got another one growing down in here I got one right here I got one over here I got one growing down in there and I got one growing over there so y'all this has got to be my proudest moment I am so excited because I've never had a orange um, watermelon before so I'm hoping it tastes as good as I think it's gonna taste so I got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight growing. And if no more else grows, that is good with me because um, I know we're not going to be able to eat all these watermelons. They are going to grow at different rates, but excuse me, for, sorry for the finger. I'm going to give one to my mother-in-law. I think one to um, two for the family, one for my neighbor and one for my brother. And um, if I have any left over, I'll give one to my brother-in-law. But guys, my uh, Orangino watermelons, I'm so excited. You can't tell me nothing. So this didn't happen last year when I grew watermelons. They died. But like I said, watermelons are heavy feeders. So like at least once every two weeks, I come out here and I hit it with some 511 and water it down real nice and good. And... Um, let all of that get in there and do what it's gonna do. So I think I'm gonna do that either tomorrow. Yeah, I go with the fingers again. Either tomorrow or Thursday, which when you watch this video, it'll be Wednesday. So Thursday, I'm gonna go and put some more 511 out here and um, get, give those a chance. And I'm also gonna do it for my cucumbers. My cucumbers was my proudest moment too until all the leaves started dying. But, um, yeah, that's all I really want. I, I, that's all probably all I'm really going to get is some watermelon, some squash maybe, and some um, cucumbers. And that's going to be about it. So I have to plan something strategic for next year to make sure that I get the best harvest. But I'm okay with what's going on right now. As long as something is growing and everything isn't dying, I'm good with that. All right, I'm sorry for the outside noise, y'all. So, I want to show you guys one more thing, and then I will let you go. Alright, guys. So, this is the zucchini bush that I started out with, and the string bean bush that I started out with. The zucchini bush is completely dead. It's even got the powdery mildew on it. So, I do not want to use that. So, I'm going to go ahead and toss that one on Thursday and probably start to put, like, something for the fall in here. And then this is my plant it has the yellow and the green string beans in it I was going to go ahead and toss it but then I noticed that there are some beans that are growing on here so like that one and this one and then I have a new one coming up right here so what I'm going to do is take all of these and I'm going to pull off all the dead leaves so that this plant can have a chance. I'm going to give it a chance to see what it does. I was going to go ahead and toss it, but it looks like that it's getting some new life on here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try to do, see what I can do to save it because I was really looking forward to having some string beans. So look, I even got some little ones going right here as well as right here. So I'm going to go ahead and give this some water because I wasn't going to water it because I didn't think there was anything to water, but I see it's trying to make a comeback. So I'm going to go ahead and give this some, some water and see how these are trying to come back right here. And so I think I'm just going to cut down all the dead ones and see what happens with this plant. But this one is definitely out of here. Um, so I'm trying to decide if I want to plant some fall or some winter vegetables uh, that would require me to get some more dirt, but we are going to just see about that. I'm going to clean that mess up over there and continue to get the rest of the, um, the dead cucumber leaves off of there. I'm going to cut this back, cut this way back, and then we're going to see what happens. Alright guys, so I hope you, and I'm going to trim my hedges because these bushes look a fright. 
Alright guys, so that's something that will probably be doing on Thursday. Maybe early morning or evening, depending on how, it, how hot it is early in the morning. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing um, either this Thursday or Friday. So let me go ahead and give this one some water so she can feel loved like everybody else got loved. And I will see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you consider subscribing to the channel. And make sure you hit that notification bell so y'all like can be alerted when I upload a new video. Because I'm putting these videos up and I'm not getting the views that I was hoping that I would get. So make sure you turn on your notification bell so we can go ahead and we can eat this um, watermelon together, y'all. And I can let you know what it tastes like. And then you can decide if this is something that you want to grow on your own. So I don't have next year's garden planned out, but I plan on doing something a little bit different. And I hope you guys stay tuned for for next year. So if you want to see what's going on next year, you got to stick in there with me this year. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Thank you so much for watching. I know this, it look a hot mess right now, but next time y'all see it, it won't look like this. It's going to be so freaking awesome. All right. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.